what this does is looking at the uh, government amendment, which came in two sections, Section A, which was amending Section 9, and Section B of the government amendment, which is uh, amending Section 16, a different section. So my amendment, sub-amendment uh, sub 1, um, completely strikes out um, Section 9. Um, And with that, I hope what I am doing is, um, is removing that opt-out section. Um, some of the, um, the material that I've been reading in, in support of that um, is, uh, is things like the, um, the um, Sheldon Schumer Foundation. Um, and if, uh, if I can, uh, and they're talking about um, the legal test for what counts as religion. Because what we're talking about here is that uh, a, a family could decide that a student to child was not to be exposed to, to certain uh, concepts, including a concept uh, under the, uh, that subheading of uh, religion. Of, of many different things. Uh, and there's been some argument in, uh, back and forth in this assembly in question period about, um, well, of course, you know, it couldn't be mistaken to be such and such and so and so. Well, yes, it can. Um, and if you go out onto the street and say to somebody, what exactly does the word religion mean to you and how do you see it playing out in the context of the school act, uh, you would get as many different answers as people that you spoke to. Um, and I, I noted uh, that one of, um, I was looking for the legal definition, um, and in my readings through a number of things, I actually ran across something that will serve uh, that purpose for me in the Sheldon Schumer uh, document um, that uh, was uh, sent around to uh, all of us, uh, that is uh, dated May the 8th. Uh, and they say um, the wording and potential scoped, uh, scope of the proposed opt-out is, is far too broad and vague. Given that the legal test for what counts as religion, what has been consistently pronounced by the Supreme Court of Canada is, in quotes, sincerely held belief, end quote, there can be absolutely no doubt that all sorts of things could be construed as dealing with, as, as dealing, in quotes again, explicitly with religion. They go on to say the sincere creationist believes that much of science, including evolution, has, deals explicitly with religion in a highly offensive way by contradicting the word of God. They will want to withdraw their children from at least some science instruction, and Bill 44 invites them to do so. And I think they have put that very well. Um, and that uh, goes forward under a, a number of the other headings that are here. So, I mean, there's an entire discussion to be had around religion and parents withdrawing uh, their children uh, from a curriculum or teaching or instruction um, based on religion, which, as we've talked about, is sincerely held belief, but also uh, around um, sexual orientation and, and human sexuality. And I was talking about the, the sexual orientation because, you know, here we have it now written in as a protected grounds, and then, then you turn around and say, but, you know, we can withdraw a number of children out of those classes so that they, they don't come to understand what this is about, uh, that, you know, there, there are people that... Uh, have a different a sexual orientation uh, that are on the face of this earth, that, uh, you know, they have certain protected rights, as do many others. Um, they, we, we end up with uh, children that are not uh, taught analysis and critical thinking and an understanding that there is a diversity uh, in our world and that uh, you need to learn to work with them in many cases. Uh, and, and you can choose to absent yourself from many things, but uh, we all live in this world. We're all moving about on its streets, and there are some things that you need to learn to how to work with it. And to simply remove a child from a class um, is not uh, going to help them. And I, I've read through a number of, uh, of um, education documents, um, letters from teachers, uh, emails, um, uh, other um, policy documents, um, the, even the school act itself, 
which talks about, you know, looking for uh, situations which, which can um, challenge children and push them beyond their, their normal bounds of comfort so that they do learn uh, that there are different things out there and, and find coping mechanisms for that and are challenged to think and, uh, and to be critical with the, uh, the, uh, and to analyze the material that's given to them um, and learn to uh, cope with that and work within it. So I uh, think it's important that uh, we do take uh, this uh, Section 9 uh, completely out of this bill. Um, it, is, uh, it is the one uh, large <laughs> anomaly that is part of this uh, proposed Bill 44 right from the get-go. The rest of it we're talking about, uh, you know, in writing in uh, sexual orientation as the Supreme Court uh, um, directed uh, the province to do some 11 years ago now. And the, the rest of what's in this act is, uh, is a number of changes uh, uh, moving this uh, from a commission to more of a tribunal uh, way of dealing things, um, uh, some um, uh, discussions around the titles that are being used, um, uh, you know, substituting tribunal for panel, um, and uh, some other changes like that. So having this um, uh, opt-out section you know, I've been told by a number of people that this was some sort of a, a swap in the uh, deal in the uh, Conservative caucus, and that, that may well be, and that may well be what, uh, what that caucus is, uh, is happy with, but I don't think that gives us good legislation. Um, I think, um, as I said before, this uh, could have very, very far-reaching effect on um, allocation of uh, budget uh, resources. Um, a prioritization of who gets money and what for. Even on the most basic level, the administration that is required of an individual school to deal with what's anticipated in this clause is an additional resource, additional money will have to be pulled away from other um, student-focused learning activities to pay for the administrator that has to go through their curriculum every September and say, okay, these are the people that we're going to have to notify that, you know, there are religious themes or has a religious uh, 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 connotation or meaning uh, or could uh, offend some people that have sincerely held beliefs uh, in these classes and these are the people that need to be notified about a uh, sexual orientation appearing possibly in you know the poetry section of the English class and these are the people that have to be notified about the human sexuality and then every time the school contemplates having a special speaker come in at Christmas or anything else that the school wants to do but is not strictly according to the curriculum they've already notified people about they have to go through that all over again so that's no small amount of resource that gets dedicated to notifying a bunch of people about what they're already doing. And, and here's where, you know, I'm told, well, this is already happening in Alberta, so it's no big deal. Well, if it's already happening in Alberta, then don't put it in this act, because this is not where it should be. Aside from the fact it shouldn't be happening, it should not be in this act. So I think I've stated pretty clearly, <laughs> um, and with some force and passion, uh, why I think it's important uh, that Section 9, uh, that is commonly being referred to as a parental opt-out section or a parental rights section, um, should uh, be removed from this Act. And, and let me just state in closing that I think if parents, families, whatever your family unit is, um, wants to you know, discuss issues at home and have a certain um, focus on the way they lead their life, that's great. Um, but when we're talking about a public education system um, funded by a province, uh, by the, all the taxpayers, where we have a standard and an expectation that students will go out into the world, that we will have a reputation outside of our borders about what the standard of education is, and that's a standard. It means that everybody has that. Um, and then we bring into play something like this. Um, it's just wrong, and I think uh, that it hurts the province. I, and that, let me be clear, I'm not saying that a parent's deciding to educate their children in a certain way is wrong. I think putting it into this act is very wrong.